My name is David Goodman. I'm a professor of pediatrics and of health policy at the Geisel School of Medicine at Dartmouth. I'm the co-director of the Dartmouth Atlas of Healthcare. We've recently received an important grant from the Charles P. Hood Foundation uh, to allow us to resume and, and really to advance uh, work that was done many, many years ago in terms of studying variation pediatric care. But now uh, the data sets are immensely more powerful and we're beginning a study in New England uh, that will be uh, released nationally. I think it'll be an emblematic study that looks at uh, quality of care for uh, uh, pediatric uh, patients. It'll look at the way that uh, surgical procedures are applied in, in children and in infants, and it will also uh, have some measures of cost. We hope that this pediatric work uh, stimulates interest, one on the part of states, to begin to develop data sets that would reveal the care that younger populations are receiving. And we also hope that it stimulates the community of providers that provide care for children to examine themselves. The work that we're now conducting uh, on California populations and end-of-life care that will come out in a report with the California Healthcare Foundation points to deeply troubling uh, patterns of care for a terrifically important population. These are patients who have uh, serious poor prognosis illness. One example are patients with poor prognosis cancer. We know, for example, that patients generally, when faced with life-threatening illness, chronic illness, would like to spend as much time in a home environment uh, and be with their family and to avoid painful procedures, procedures that don't help them to return to the life they once had. But on average, what we find is that patients receive highly aggressive care that offers little hope for prolonging life and really diminishes the quality of life. The quality and the care patterns at the end of life, both at a regional level and a hospital-specific level, really haven't changed very much um, over, over the years. Uh, even where care uh, is thought to be problematic, we find that those patterns of, of care uh, persist. The type of care they receive varies tremendously from hospital to hospital. There are some hospitals where the patients are very likely to die in the hospital or die in intensive care units, receive chemotherapy right up to the time of death. There are other hospitals where the patients are more likely to receive palliative care or, or hospice care and be able to uh, die in their home. The, the type of hospital itself doesn't predict those patterns of care. We find variation in those uh, patterns across academic medical centers, across cancer centers, across community hospitals as well. We expect to have access to uh, data, uh, additional data of the under 65 population that will really allow us to, to demonstrate uh, variation in care, a quality of care from place to place, um, from the beginning of life to the end of life.